Hey, welcome back to part two of uh, how to learn Morse code the easy way. Um, man, I was uh, kind of shocked. I got uh, uh, lots of views. I got a lot of questions and uh, a lot of comments. And uh, I appreciate each and every one of them. Even even the one uh, one guy said this is just rubbish. And, uh, and it may be uh, to some people. Um, you know, it is what it is to whoever needs it. Uh, if you don't need it, great you know if you have another method that works good for you that's that's just wonderful you know but uh, what I know is it's really fun to me at least to communicate by Morse code and uh, most of the people that I communicate with think it's really fun so uh, whatever works for you make it work man just I mean make it work um, I use this method uh, this method is mostly the Farnsworth method that I'm teaching you um, that's what they taught us in the Navy although I had no idea it was something called the Farnsworth method you know I mean they didn't tell us methods from anything they just said do this you know and that's what we did um, so do uh, do whichever one you need to do if you think this is rubbish and you want to do a different thing do it um, if you want to do this plus something else do that um, you know I mean, this is for fun. Uh, I, I'm not charging you anything. I'm not asking you for anything. I'm, you know, I'm not selling anything. I'm just trying to help some uh, fellow uh, CW keyers out there that are having trouble, just like I did. Because uh, after 50 years, I, uh, it was 50 years between my last two contacts. You know, between the last one I made and the first one I made as a ham operator. So. Uh, you know, this is fun. This is for fun. Enjoy it. You know, and make make it work for you. Um, this method was easy for me. Uh, I learned it easy once. Once I figured out that the characters were rhythm patterns, I had it beat. You know, because I I grew up in music, and the dits and the dahs became like. Uh, uh, you know, it, it became like staccato notes and long notes on a trumpet or uh, the staccato notes and stuff on a drum it just you know it was it was just it, it just became easy because it was just rhythm patterns just like you would know in a good piece of music and then it just became a a, um, a, a thing of just learning it not learning it but I'm, I mean yeah yeah learning it you just had you had to know which which rhythm pattern was what letter, but it, that didn't take too long because it, it then becomes like your favorite song. Morse code does because everywhere you go, you uh, you sing out the letters or, or, or you take your fingers and you tap them out, you know, on a table or something, no matter what you're doing. I mean, I can remember I was a young, I was a young sailor in a bar you know, and I'd be standing there tapping out uh, the different types of alcohol names on on the bar, you know, while I was waiting for a drink, this or that, something like that. So um, wherever you go, whatever you do, you can sing out, or maybe if you tap out, don't do that while you're driving, you know, but uh, <laughs> you can sing them out, you know, like a stop sign, da da it da 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 stop you know I mean sing them out and uh, once once you kind of realize it it can be like your favorite song because you know the phrasing you know the spacing you know the letters you know it all so uh, it becomes much more easy that way so we're going to talk about some of the questions we got and uh, let's just see about getting to it okay one person said were well, you still using dits and dahs yeah, that's true. Still using dits and dahs, and you do have to memorize which dits and which dahs make which letters and which you know other characters. Uh, I mean, you know, that's a given. You you do have to do that. But then you put them together as a rhythm pattern, and you should have it licked after that. So yeah, it's still dits and dahs, but uh, that makes it uh, easy once you uh, memorize which ones go where. I had another young man that said he was uh, has struggling a bit. It was working, but he was struggling a bit because he was trying to learn Morse code at 25 words a minute. Uh, man, that's a tough place to start, 25 words a minute. That's pretty fast uh, just for learning. So uh, you might think about slowing down, uh, you know, to maybe 10 words a minute or 15. If you're doing, if you're almost getting 25, you're almost there anyway. 
but uh, slow down to 10, 10 words a minute or so and uh, make sure you got it right, make sure you got the spacing, make sure your characters are accurate and precise. Um, if, uh, if, if you're struggling more than that, um, you know, slow down as much as you need to slow down, copy it down, make sure you got it straight, um, and then uh, worry about picking up the speed. Um, you know, I, I'm 68, and so I understand your, I feel your pain. <laughs> So, uh, it, yeah, it's a struggle, but um, 25 words a minute is a little fast. Um, if you want to tell me a little bit more about what you're doing, I'd be, uh, uh, I'd be happy for you to leave a comment or even email me or, or something like that, and I will um, um, be happy to try to answer any question that you have. Um, so please please do that. Um, you can get my email. I'm W5FIV. Go to my QRZ page, and you get my email there. So... Um, Anyway, 25 words a minute, that's pretty fast. You're learning it there, and you get it pretty quickly. Uh, you got it made, man. Um, but uh, anyways, good luck, and uh, if I can help, please uh, don't hesitate to contact me some way, either, either through YouTube here or uh, give me an email, and I'll be happy to try to help you. Uh, 73, good, good luck, man. One person wrote in and said he didn't think, or he, I think it was a he. I'm sorry, I, I didn't really pay attention that much. Um, but anyway, he wrote in and said he didn't think of uh, Morse code as being a sound-based medium, you know, or a music-type-based medium. As far as amateur radio, it's a sound-based medium, and the words and letters are, uh, are, are rhythm patterns. So uh, that's what you got to learn. Alright, so hopefully that answers that question. I had a couple of dozen people uh, write in that just to say thanks or that they enjoyed the video or um, that they appreciated, you know, uh, what I was doing or, uh, you know. Uh, I just, um, I, when the pandemic started, I did not have a, a radio license. And I had been a radio operator in the Navy in 1973, specifically a CW operator. So um, I thought, you know what, I'm going to get my license. And I did, and I got as far as a general license, and I've kind of stopped, although I'm, I'm uh, you know, wanting to get my extra. But, uh, um, you, you know how it is, put things off. But anyways, um, listen, I am so happy to do this. It's free. I'm just trying to help anybody that wants this kind of help or, or thinks this helps them. It's free. I'm not selling anything. I'm not trying to get you to, to, to do anything, to buy anything, to, to, you know, to adopt my ways or, or anything like that. I'm just trying to be a little bit helpful if I can. Um, I uh, uh, don't have any ulterior motives in, in doing this other than trying to help people and, uh, and make friends. Um, um, during the pandemic, um, my... Um, three best friends that I had in the world passed away. Uh, none of them were pandemic related. Um, two, uh, two with cancer and uh, one with Parkinson's disease. And uh, so I f felt like I'd lost all my friends. And uh, um, I, that's one reason I was looking for something to do and I got my license and I tell you what, I've made some really, really good friends uh, with the radio since, uh, since then. So. Um, um, it's a good way to make friends, have a lot of fun, and I'm only doing this for fun. That's all it's about, fun. Learn CW, have a little fun, make the mistakes, have somebody laugh at you about it, and get on with it, you know. I mean, just enjoy your life because it's short. So if I can answer any questions or anything, let me know. Uh, I'm going to cut this one off here. Uh, this is W5FIV. My name is Jim. Um, please uh, subscribe if you haven't subscri subscribed to my uh, channel here. Uh, leave any comment or question that you'd like to. I'll be happy to get back with you. Um, I read every single one of them, I promise you. And uh, I'd love to get back with you. So please leave a comment or a question and please subscribe. And so 73 for now.
and I'll talk to you soon.